It's Nolan. What's going on, y'all? It's the kid, Jay Nolan here. Welcome to another episode of Inside the Industry, your number one source for music and entertainment breakdowns and commentary. Hey, man, New Music Friday has not been this exciting in a long, long, long time. If you tuned in to my last video, you know I broke down the new disc record uh, from Future, Metro Boomin, and Kendrick Lamar like that. I don't know if necessarily Future was taking shots on that particular record, but Kendrick Lamar jumped on there with a fully loaded clip for both Drake and perhaps J. Cole, okay? Now, we've also got a brand new record from Big Sean. I'm telling y'all, <laughs> these guys is going in. So Big Sean just delivered with his new song called Precision. And honestly, this is definitely going in the playlist. I listened to this record about four or five times before I even came on here to talk about it. Out of the records that I've heard tonight, this is probably my favorite. This is the style of music that I particularly like. Uh, on the record, you have the sample, of course. Uh, Ever since I can remember, I've been popping my gala. You know, from 3-6 Mafia. We all know that record, but a lot of y'all youngest probably don't. Masterful sample. Masterful rework of the sample where it's just the same, but new drums, new 808s, new flows. You could tell that Big Sean is back in his mode. You could tell that his flow is like definitely in pristine space right now. Um, this is way better than that freestyle that he dropped like a day or two ago when he was dealing with uh, food poisoning or whatever, talking about his consistency was messing up his position with the big three or whatever. I was like, ah, Big Sean, you sounding a little Drakey right now and you sounding a little bit like you might have food poisoning. You know what I mean? His flow wasn't hitting for me, but everybody was excited because he uh, freestyled over a, a rework of the far side drop. Cool. That's all right. That's cool. Precision. This is the one. I remember when you sent he uh, previewed this, I think, on one of his videos. Like, this was coming. And it, but in my shot, like, psh, psh, hey, I was like, ooh, this is it right here. I've been waiting on this joint since he first previewed it. So, as y'all know, on this channel, we don't actually play the music. There's plenty of other YouTubers out there that will do that. But we're going to get into the storyline and we're going to get to the lyrics. You know what I'm saying? So, Big Sean definitely makes a surefire aim with precision. His triumphant comeback single. I hope this record does good for him. I hope that this uh, gets on radio. I hope that it goes on, you know, charts or something like that. But it's definitely hip hop. The energy is permeating in hip hop right now. The lyricists that we all came to love at least a decade ago are still here. They're still in prime form. And you know who I'm talking about. Uh, Kendrick, J. Cole, Big Sean. Drake is still in good position with his lyrics. You know, like when he wants to do like a Lemon Pepper freestyle or when he gets on that, uh, uh, that joint with uh, Jack Harlow that they did. You know, when he really wants to talk his shit, Drake is still amongst the greats still amongst the top but he normally takes the easy way out so it's hard to put him in the same category as some of the others out there because he doesn't consistently push his pen lyrically he pushes his pen to make pop hits commercial records and to be the most dominant on the charts but when it comes to the actual art form that's where Drake sometimes pales in comparison Big Sean he was not noted he's never been noted in the big three but he's always been on the outside looking in and he's always been like, yo, if y'all were to put me side by side with these dudes and let me just go in, y'all would see how much I could hold my own. I've always liked Big Sean. There was a moment where I kind of was like, I don't know what, what he doing around that uh, Dark Sky Paradise or whatever that shit was. He was just getting too much like Kanye, in my opinion. But I'm glad to hear he's back. This is kind of putting me back in the bounce back. Remember when he came out with Last Night Took a L, but tonight I bounce back. And that was like reviving his career. I think this is a replay of that all over again, but with new energy. Um, So, yeah, I don't know the name of Sean's album. I know he has an album on the way. He's been hinting at this. Uh, his last project was Detroit 2. Um, and he's definitely been ramping up for something over the course of the past few days. He's got uh, he's got a god dang trailer that dropped on YouTube. He's got he popped up with Tyler, the creator, where Tyler, the creator said that basically your uh, your strength is also your Achilles heel, which is how you put words together. 
Um, he had like this whole mantra thing of mindset building and getting out of suicidal thoughts and, you know, mental health that he dropped. So Big Sean is definitely leading up to the album. We don't know what the album is. Don't know when it's dropping, but it seems like it's going to be 2024. Now let's get to these bars. That's what we came for. Okay. So. Boom. Shoot him my shot like, pew, pew, hey, hit the red dot like, pew, pew, hey, finger on the trigger like, pew, 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 hey, 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 shoot him my shot like, pew, pew, hey, I like when this nigga get in his fun mode. This ain't goddamn, this ain't that old school Big Sean, you know what I'm saying? This ain't that old lemonade flow. This is updated software, you know what I'm saying? Hitting a spot like, pew, 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 hey, 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 I got to get it, man. Shout out, I hit it. I'm fully committed. Like, hey, I studied the target. I'm never going to miss it. I call that precision. Like, hey, shoot him out shot like, pew, pew, hey, hit the red dot like, pew, pew, hey, finger on the trigger like, pew, 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 hey, 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 hey. Grandma was in the A. Auntie was in the A. Mama had triple A. So he said, he talking about his family was in the A and his mama had triple A. I wasn't scared to crash anyone in the way. I'm riding shoddy with bro had a shoddy like we in the getaway. That's tough. I'm riding shoddy while bro had a shoddy like we in the getaway. So I'm riding shotgun. My homeboy had the shotgun like we was in the getaway car. Like we was really on some some shit. You know what I'm saying? I got to penetrate. I got to penetrate. I gave like 20 some years to my hood. Now I got to go live away. So talking about Detroit. Gave 20 odd years to my hood. I repped it. I repped the D to the fullest you know, but now I got to go live away. I got to find other things in life to go conquer. I got to be my best self. And it's going to take for me to be a way to be able to give back in my fullest potential. Right. I'm out of town, but I'm not on a getaway. I spend a giveaway. Fuck you mean. So he says, I'm out of town, but I'm not on a getaway. I'm just out of town. I'm away. Like I'm not coming back no time soon. But when I come, I'm going to be bearing lots of fruits from my labor. You know what I'm saying? And I spend a giveaway like that's that's crazy, you know. Giveaway be like 50,000, 100,000, 150,000. Like, nigga, I spent a giveaway just on some just on some flippant fluid shit. You know what I mean? Like, I got the bread and I could just do it. I could just spend a whole giveaway and not think about that shit. You know what I mean? He said, fuck you mean. I'm the generous king for real. I fuck it asleep. Then I light up the street. Got a screaming like Billy Jean for real. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, I'm from the M. I got M's in the bank and... Hold up, hold up. I'm from the M. I got M's in the bank and M's in all my streams for real. So he says, I'm from the M, Michigan, Detroit, Michigan. I got M's in the bank, millions, and I got M's on all my streams for real. Like, nigga, and I got M's on all my streams. So I'm doing millions everywhere you look. How could y'all not rate me? Feeling like Phil, they be living like Carlton. I leave them in the wheel. So he's feeling like Uncle Phil from Fresh Parent. Fresh Prince, they'll be living like Carlton if I leave them in the will. So anybody that I leave in my will is going to be living like Carlton on Fresh Prince. Spoiled, rotten, you know what I'm saying? Life handed to them because I got the bread to do it. You know, so that's the verse. Then we get back to the chorus. Show my shot like PPA. Then he comes back. Second verse. Baby, I'm loving the taste. I think I'm ready for kids. She said, well, then stop trying to come in her face. Mm, that makes sense. So you're like, shit, man, I'm ready for kids. But shouting up under him like, well, shit, if you so ready for kids, why are you still trying to pop me in the face? Why don't you plant the seed, nigga? Mm, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm going up past L.A. rent like I'm going up, nigga. And you know how expensive it is to live in L.A. I'm going up like L.A. rent, nigga. I'm going off no fail safe switch. Yeah, me and my team go back like plastic cut boys on some tailgate shit. Now, ain't the plastic cut boys um, Kevin Hart's? crew that they've been together for for all this time you know what i'm saying they, they stick together like glue you know what i'm saying him and his team go back like plastic cup boys on some tailgate shit okay the whole look all eyes on me ho i'm feel like i'm truman and we finna win it because i'm about to lose it so it's all eyes on me like it's the truman show i'm finna win it because i'm about to lose it like i'm definitely gonna win because i'm about to black out on you niggas Right. I don't give a fuck what computers is pew and I go off a of field. No, he's just no has he just shoot it. So that's a camera on reference. Computers putin. He said, I don't give a fuck with the computers. Pew. I don't care what y'all talking about on Twitter, on social media, what y'all how y'all rank me, what y'all talking about me. Y'all niggas be saying all this type of shit. But um, I go off a of field. Right. I'm really out here in the field. I go off a of field like when I get in the studio, I do what works for me i'm not competing with you niggas i'm not worried about what y'all talking about if it feels right for me that's what i do right 
No hezzy, just shoot it. I don't hesitate. I just pull up in your motherfucking face. I don't need no crossover, nigga. I'm Clay Thompson out this bitch. Buckets. No dribbles. Right? <laughs> he said, I die for my team. I'm the coach. I'm recruiting. I'm spending my time and I'm saving the day. Ho, I feel a mutant. I'm built like a student. So he said, I spend my time saving the day. I feel like a mutant. Like, I'm, I'm a straight up X-Men uh spider-man type nigga i'm a mutant like i'm just saving the day every time when shit start getting boring i gotta come through and put some put some feeling back in the game i built like a student he i'm feeling bilingual because i'm in nigeria rocking the cuban smoking on cuban so he say i'm feeling bilingual because i'm in nigeria rocking cuban links smoking on cuban cigars nigga i'm in motherfucking africa rocking cuban smoking cubans nigga that's bilingual my life was a highlight reel that keep on looping. This shit just keep happening every day. It's just a highlight reel, nigga. Everything I do is big shit. And you just, if it feels like it's looping, but it's new shit every time. He said, you can't just tell me shit, ho. You got to prove it. These niggas still in their first name is Lupin. Y'all know Lupin, the TV show on uh, Netflix, the nigga that just keeps stealing all the high price jewelry and shit. He like, these niggas stealing their first name is Lupin. They, they stealing my style. They stealing my swag. They stealing all this type shit. They, that's Lupin. I'm hitting hard in a bitch. Hadouken. Hadouken. Street fighter. They sending shots, but somehow I just juke it. Hitting my dance, motherfucker. I'm B.I.G. You know I can't forget that I do it. The legendary ad lib from Big Sean. Like I said, man, he's he definitely hit a stride on this song. His flow is crazy. The rhymes is crazy. The lyrics is on point, especially for somebody that's... This is a very catchy song. This is one of those triumphant joints. He's going to go on stage, perform shit like this. It's a, it's a lot of breath. You know what I mean? Like, you really got to be a rapper rapper to get on stage and hit all these syllables without breathing and shit. He was going through this shit very fluidly, but... This is this is one of them ones. It may not, you know, go crazy commercially, but for the Big Sean fans, for music fans, for hip hop fans that that appreciate dope lyricism, dope beats, and just want to hear a nigga go in, this is one of those. It reminded me kind of of Prime Wayne as far as like bar after bar, line after line type shit. Of course, he's not punching with the same fervor as as a Lil Wayne. But it was that Wayne energy, you know what I mean? And when you listen to the delivery, the cadence that he had on this song, especially in that second verse, he started getting into his vocal inflections and shit. It definitely reminded me of that Wayne. Um, so I like this record a lot, man. Like I said, this is probably my favorite of the night, even though Kendrick came out and he was just taking headshot at the headshot. Um, the future record, the future and Metro record, it wasn't the greatest, you know what I'm saying? Sampling that old dun 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 like that was cool. We've heard that, and I know that that's an iconic sample, but Kendrick really saved that record for me. But with this, I listened to this front to back. Like I said, I played it on repeat like five times before I came on on here and did this video. Um, I also want to apologize for those that watched the Kendrick reaction because my sound was not in the right form. My mixer has been going crazy lately because I've been taking my laptop out the studio and basically I haven't been doing my due diligence to check and make sure that uh, my mixer is in rotation. So, I, so it ended up recording through the MacBook uh, mic. That's not how I do my content. If you've been tuned in the inside the industry, Miss um, Miss um, SJD, I got to make it up to you. I got to play this lotto one time because I'm over there juking and moving and, you know, I'm sticking and moving and stuff. And nobody even heard the song in celebration. So we got to play this one good time for you. You know what I'm saying? Out of love and respect because you show up and you show out. So let's redeem this situation. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Man, I done came up out the bottom ooh, ooh, yeah. Got fresh like I just hit the lotto ooh, ooh, yeah. They say money can't fix all your problems ooh, ooh, yeah. Well, I say, throw it hey. in my wallet ooh, ooh, yeah. Man, I done came up out the bottom ooh, ooh, yeah. Got fresh like I just hit the lotto ooh, ooh, yeah. They say money can't fix all your problems ooh, ooh, yeah. Well, I say, throw it in my wallet Once again, much love and respect SJD had to redeem that because it came out real, real weak last time. 
Shout out to all of my insiders. Shout out to the Cash App crew. Shout out to all of the super thanks, super chats, and super stickerers out there. Y'all definitely been keeping me motivated, keeping me going. Y'all are giving me all the motivation to keep this channel going, to keep this show rolling. I'm so excited to keep the keep things going into the month of April, kicking off after my birthday. And it's just been nothing but blessings. So I want y'all to understand, you know, it's not a one-sided thing. This is definitely community. That's why I get in the comments and I uh, I respond to y'all. Even those of y'all that be taking shots at me, I give y'all my time of day to come and respond, even if we disagree, because this is a community. This is an opportunity for us to communicate and actually share opinions, share our love of music, even if we don't necessarily meet in the middle every time i think the middle area that we can always meet in is just some sort of mutual respect unless you coming at me too crazy i'm gonna tell you to get your motherfucking head check i'm gonna say it feel like mental illness if you coming at me without any sort of uh moral compass but outside of that i think we can definitely continue to keep this thing rolling i hope that y'all are enjoying it i hope that y'all are becoming insiders if you were previously not subscribed and you've been lurking go ahead and just hit that subscribe button if you like this video go ahead and share it hit the like button share it with a friend send it to a couple people put it on facebook put it on twitter wherever you frequent online tell your folks to see check out uh inside the industry with jay nolan tell them to check out jay nolan all right very very much in tune with what's going on musically. I'm not only a commentator, but I'm an actual artist and songwriter and music business educator. At the end of the month, if you're in Atlanta, I will be at a, uh, I, I'm actually going to be at this um, seminar called Sync Spotlight, where we're going to be teaching people about sync licensing, how to get their music in TV and film, uh, the trends that are going on in TV and film for uh, artists and songwriters to not necessarily follow but to learn about so that you can actually be competitive in the space it's not just about getting your music and tv and film though it's going to be about just exploring your options as a music creator because everybody's not going to make it to the mainstream everybody's not going to get a major record deal but you can still fulfill your dream you can still make good money doing this shit and you can live a, a very lucrative lifestyle and pour into yourself and your family and your loved ones off of what it is that you love to do. So we're going to be there, um, I believe, March 30th. We're going to be at the Sandy Springs Performing Arts Center. For those of y'all that are in Sandy Springs, Dunwoody area, the ticket is $100 to get in. It sounds steep, but this is educational. It's going to be transformational for people. You're going to actually, people are going to get their music played live in front of us. We're going to give live feedback and tell you where you can improve your music, how you can make it more syncable, how you can, you know, increase your success rate if you're pitching it. All of those things are available Saturday, March 30th. My panel is going to be at uh, 2.40 p.m. So be sure to check us out if you're not involved in music. Hey, stay tuned for more Inside the Industry posts videos and commentary all right much love and respect i'll see y'all on the next one peace king of my city and codesac coming i swing like soldier ass leading my people like quarterback but i study this shit i'm an almanac had to get up and grind knowledge is booming i'm here to apply came with the chip and the dip it just single the mind we finna do more to survive i need my check spinning the block for the gouda we hitting the jewel of the flood out the net we don't do beef on computers, I'm straight out the sewer, we come when you rest yeah. Niggas be looking for flags, so keeping my foot on their neck uh -huh. No map, I trust my gut for the quest, but drama I'm full of your breast yeah. I was ready for years and they died of me, uh -huh. all of a sudden they tell me they proud of me I've been dropping these haters like calories, uh -huh. cross somebody came back with some battery Stand for my honor, but you run no gunner, packing a stick with a drummer Wanna catch my bad one fumble, I done came too far to be